So, we're here today with a Nuffield I bought a couple of years ago, uh, and I've not really had time to do much with it. Those of you that know me better will know I had to have operation on my left shoulder last year, and it's been a slow recovery. I've not really had time to uh, do much with the preservation work, just busy keeping my head above water. Anyway, this tractor, it's got two problems. First of all, it's bubbling out the radiator, so I've took the thermostat housing off so we can see that better. And it's also got a hiss out of an inlet valve. And uh, I've set the tractor up with the front wheels on some bricks so that it's got a bit of a slope on it. Uh, so that the bubbles come straight out the thermostat housing and you can see what's going on. So first of all, let's uh, start her up and show you the bubbles coming out the radiator. took a while but eventually they came out and if I didn't have the bricks under the front end of it they'd take forever to come out but uh, that speeds the job up a bit. So we've got bubbles out the radiator and uh, there's a hiss out the inlet manifold because the valve's not sealing. Now I've already had a play with the engine and uh, put the engine on top dead centre and using this screwdriver put it under the rocker shaft and just pulled a valve down like that and you've got about three or four mil you can pull the valve open before the piston hits it. So we've got a bit of leeway on this engine for fiddling with the valves while it's running because that's what I'm going to do. Now I know which cylinder the fault is on already and I'm not going to make you watch me test every cylinder. I'll do one and then I'll show you the faulty one and see if you can tell the difference by the bubbly, bubble, the bubble stopping and uh, the hiss. So let's start her up again. Well there you see, when I get to cylinder number four, both the hissing out the manifold stops and the bubbles out the thermostat stop. So the problem on this engine is on both, uh, both problems are on one cylinder. And whereas originally I was thinking it's perhaps head gasket and a valve leaking, it makes you wonder whether the two are connected. Perhaps, perhaps we've got a crack in the cylinder head and that's where all the air is escaping from the crack. But we won't know the answer to that until I remove the cylinder head and that's a job for another day. Just a postscript to the first video I forgot to mention that you have to remove the fan bolt from the engine before you do this test otherwise with the thermostat housing and thermostat removed when you start the engine up you'll have a lot more than a few bubbles coming out there. Happy tractoring everybody!